Thank you for joining me today in prayer. There's a story I learned this year about um, the people in Madagascar who are so hungry because climate change has changed their climate that the mothers have nothing to feed their children. And so they mix dirt in with water and give that to their child to eat. Can you imagine being so hungry that you're willing to give your kid dirt because that's all there is? Our scripture today comes from Luke 6, verse 21. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. So I invite you to close your eyes and just rest in the presence of God. Breathe in deeply and release your breath. Blessed are you who are hungry now, for you will be filled. Holy One, we turn our hearts to you as we think about those who are hungry. We think about that mother who struggles to have enough to pay all the bills with rent being so high and the one thing that can go is food. And so they're down to that last box of macaroni and cheese and she feeds it to her children and goes hungry that night. Blessed are you who are hungry. Holy One, we think about all those who are living out on the street, who aren't sure where their next meal is coming from, who ask strangers for money who go to the free breakfast, the free meal. Blessed are those who are hungry for they will be filled. So Holy One, we lift up to you all we know who are hungry. Those around the world in places where drought has taken over, where war has pushed people out. And we come closer to home. To the people here in Fremont who are at the edge of not making it, who sometimes have money for food and sometimes don't. And God, we ask you to place before them the people who can help. We ask you when they feel like it's too difficult to ask for food, to give them the courage and help them find a safe place. And Holy when we stop and we thank you for all the places that they can turn here in Fremont to find food. So we lift up the Tri-City Free Breakfast and the Tri-City Volunteers with their mobile food pantries. We lift up the Alameda County Food Bank and the Salam Food Pantry and Meals on Wheels we ask you to be present with the families, the people who seek out food. And Holy One, we ask you to be with the volunteers who pack the sack lunches, who pack the brown bags full of food, who drive the mobile food pantries around, who are there at the pantry to let people in, to intake information and show them how to pick up food. 
We thank you for all the volunteers who stock the shelves and empty the trucks and make the meals. For you tell us, blessed are those who are hungry, for they shall be filled. And God, we ask you to be with the decision makers in our government, in the world government, in the corporations, those who have power, who could change our economy so that people aren't hungry, could change our economic system so that hunger isn't a constant. God, be with them and move their hearts. Tell them the right story that changes their minds. For we have enough food. We throw out enough food to feed the entire world. So Holy One, we hear those words, Blessed are you who are hungry, for you will be filled. God, we ask you to fill those who 